Respiratory volumes. First, there's the tidal volume, TV. This is the amount of air we naturally inhale or exhale during regular breathing under resting conditions, about 500 milliliters with each breath. But our lungs have more capacity than just this. When we need to take a deep breath, we can tap into the inspiratory reserve volume, IRV, which allows us to forcefully inhale an additional 3,100 milliliters of air after a normal inhalation. Conversely, if we need to forcefully expel air after a regular exhale, we can engage the expiratory reserve volume, ERV, which can push out an extra 1,200 milliliters of air. Now, even after the deepest exhale, there's still some air left in the lungs, that's the residual volume, RV, about 1,200 milliliters. It ensures our lungs are never completely empty to prevent collapse. Bringing these volumes together gives us some essential lung capacity measurements. 1. Total lung capacity, TLC, this is the maximum amount of air our lungs can hold after a maximum inhalation. It's the sum of tidal volume, TV, inspiratory reserve volume, IRV, expiratory reserve volume, ERV, and residual volume, RV, and it's about 6,000 milliliters. 2. Vital capacity, VC, VC represents the maximum amount of air we can forcibly exhale after taking a deep breath. It's the sum of TV, IRV, and ERV. Ideally, it should be around 80% of TLC, which is about 4,800 milliliters. 3. Inspiratory capacity, IC, IC is the volume of air we can inhale after a normal exhale. It's the sum of TV and IRV, approximately 3,600 milliliters. 4. Functional residual capacity, FRC, FRC is the volume of air that remains in the lungs after a regular exhale. It's the sum of ERV and RV, totaling about 2,400 milliliters.